Hello everyone, welcome back to the Gaming Droid and welcome back to Modern Skyblock 3. Um, there's a few things changed, so first off you'll see over here we've changed, I'll go and take you through those in a second. But um, I did a little bit of rearranging and, and um, work while off camera. Uh, you may have noticed in the last video that my Batania setup wasn't working and it still isn't. I updated to a new version of the pack. Um, I rolled back to an old version, then I updated to a new version, so I've actually done two updates. I did uh, back up the save first hand, but Batania is still not working for me. So to start off, like I can't actually progress through the quest book until I do this quest in Batania, and Batania just is broken at the moment. So I'm going to change that. Underscore admin edit mode. Edit mode on. And then we go to quests, go edit. And we say edit some true magic. Is that right? No. We go to some. No, we go to mystical flora. That's what we want to go to. Mystical flora. And we go edit. Designer. And then we want to go manual completion and double click. There we go. That's complete now. And now if we go BQ admin edit, we can turn edit off. And now what should happen is we should have access to some true magic, which, okay, there doesn't appear to be any one tasks second. set in this one, so there we go, that's completed those quests. I've done everything in the ones that are required for this, so... There we go. Let's hope that that, so if I claim that one, and I claim that one, hopefully, fingers crossed, that is enough to do that. But the other major change that updating has done, other than completely balk my quest book apparently, um, although Batania was broken so I wouldn't have been able to progress through there anyway, is, uh, yeah, this was my old pick from Mega Loots. And you can see that it has... Uh, Hunger for six seconds on hit, and wither enemy second for one second on hit. And this has withers enemies for one second on hit. Uh, the Mega Loots mod has completely updated, and when I say completely updated, I mean completely updated. They've added new items, they've changed how items get abilities, they've changed all the ability codes and things like that. So what happens when I try and use the old Mega Loot items is this. It hurts me and gives me wither and hunger. So the old Mega Loot items I can't actually use anymore. You also might notice that my health is much lower than it should be. These both have plus 3 to health. My health should be up above 11, or should be up around 11, and that isn't working. The old rings work, so I still have speed 2 and jump boost 2 from this ring, and the uh, three-piece of the Viking armor does give me the bonus that I'm looking for. But that's it. So what I thought was, I do have some of the loot chests in here, and you'll see straight away that the loot chests have changed shape and changed color. So if we go through here, we can have rare, and we should have a 30 epic. So we've got epic mega loot chests. You can see they've changed completely now. So I thought what we could do is we could start by uh, just burning through some epic loots and seeing if we can find something really good. So we've got Viking armor with luck 98 and 3 health. So that does work to increase my health. Uh, that provides luck 7... That provides like 61. That's a health boost of 3 as well. So there we go. There's another 3 health. Provides haste, provides strength, provides resistance, provides jump 1. Uh, a multi-tool. So this is a, a drill, a pickaxe, and an axe. I might actually take that one. Health boost 2, haste 2, sleep, indestructible, night vision when held, void miner. The voids are quite good. So if we, uh, if we turn on the void... And I have, I've completely forgotten how to do it. There is a way to turn on the void. Um, I actually have a shovel in here that has it on that I know how to turn on. If I go down to my epic loot. this one, which is from the new loot box. This is a void filter. We can actually tell it to void certain items if we want to void them. Which is great. Uh, that's a rare level pick. We can use that. That's good. The Warmonger's Sword with 25 DPS. Okay, I'm probably going to keep that with me. Nate's Blade, 
That's my old armor that I don't need. That's got the void filter. Auto smelting axe. And again, like you can turn auto smelt on and off with the new Mega Loots mod, which is quite cool the fact that you can turn auto smelt on and off. Those two rings aren't important. Again, you can't stack rings at the moment. So our luck ability has also gone away. 42 DPS. Whoa. Okay. That's a ridiculously overpowered sword. Thunder Force. Levitates enemies. Shoots six arrows. Hunger five. Uh, the levitate isn't that good. Dragon Helmet. Boosts health by two. Provides luck 61. Nah, that's just a flat out better helmet. So, got a couple more pieces we can throw together. Uh, Jetpack Hover 9 Speed 2. So, I have... How long does that last? Does that just let me... How long can I hover for? I have flight. I just ha I just out and out have flight now. Okay. That's a really high damage pick. That's a really high damage pick. Oh, that has got one hell of a mining speed on it. Thirty-three mining speed. Wow. Uh, I'm probably going to stick with the dark bow, the empowered three dark bow. It just seems slightly better. The sound from that mod pack is a little bit irritating, the flight sound, but on the other side of it, I now have flight. I wonder which sound that comes from. I wonder which uh, audio that comes from. That's video droid. Um, is it player sound? It's player sound. So, okay, now I have essentially free flight. Okay, that was that was well worth it. I, I'm less salty about the update that nearly killed me now. Far less salty about the update that nearly killed me. Although that does get rid of my sounds of footsteps and walking. So, let's do a little bit. Um, yeah, that's, that's quite interesting. So, the other thing we have done is we have moved our... Um, setup over here. We've moved and changed our oil setup. So what we've got is we've got a canola field and a thing full of canola seeds and a sprinkler. This is auto feeding via a factory tech auto ejector into a voided storage drawer. It's then using a stack modifier with a timer to move stacks into this canola press. Canola press is providing these with um, oil. They're making fermented oil and they're providing four oil generators with fermented oil. So you can see that we've got one, two, three, four, two either side. And these are all connected up to a immersive engineering uh, wire system. The one thing I would say is the immersive engineering wires now electrocute you if you touch them. Uh, as you just saw, if I touch the electric wire, I get electrocuted, so a little bit dangerous. But not much of a problem. The other thing I've done is I've moved these down here. We've got a powered furnace with an input-output chest, uh, auto split on so it'll cook things reasonably quickly. We've got our end stone casing moved down here with a timer. And then I've got this set up. I've got two crucibles. Uh, each crucible is sitting on top of, oops, is sitting on top of a magma stone. So it's at uh, times nine. It's got a crucible inserter above it. And it's got the stack inserters from Factory Tech, which are all the stack movers from Factory Tech and timers, which are the only things I have at the moment I don't actually have. Because the other thing I have is wooden pipes plus um, engines. But stack movers won't move stuff if there's no space to put them in. So, and then we have the extraction pumps extracting it into a placer. And the placer can be turned on and off. So the placer places liquid and it can be turned on and off. Then I have this, which is a stone placer. And that's because you can make ores using the stone placer. So you can actually put um, dust in here and you can actually place stone in and it will create ore out of stone. So I can actually use that to make ore. We've got this setup, which is again, crucible inserter full of blaze powder. We've got a tank full of lava. We've got liquid magma and we've got a tank full of lava. So we've got a basically fully automated smeltery. And that's our sort of upgraded systems.
Now the reason we want the automated smeltery is because with the automated smeltery we can scroll through this. I mean I don't have to worry too much about pickaxe, I've got quite a few including silk touch and things like that. But if we scroll down to this iron we've got 31 iron chest plates. So what I can do is I can go and shove iron chest plates in here and it will just provide me with iron en masse. No, come on, land. The hovering is a little bit awkward. It's not like full jet plaque flight, but it's not bad. Um, I'm going to move this over to the ingots. So there we go. And we have plenty of the bricks that you saw me uh, set up and wait for last time. So, things have changed, but not too terribly. But what I do want to do is I want to move this storage, because we've got lots of storage up here. And that's great. But in reality, most of our stuff is downstairs now. So we're going to move downstairs. Um, I'm going to move this onto there and this to here. And that will just make this quicker and easier to do. And we're also going to switch over to our storage crates. Because our storage crates are something that is going to be really useful. But before we do that, there is something I do want to do. I want to get this. And I want to make some items from actually Editions. Storage crates. I want to make these storage crate keepers. We can make two of these, one, two, and what that will do is it'll allow me to break a storage crate and still keep its contents contained within the storage crate, which means that I can now empty this into the storage crate and then pick the storage crate up with no worries about the storage crate dropping its items on the floor. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of cut here and I will bring you back once we have everything done. If there's any of my sort of designs or builds or setups, uh, that is... Factory Tech Machine Part Wire, which apparently has been removed from the mod pack in the update. So let's get rid of that before we cause a break of the system. Um, so yeah, if there's any of the uh, machine designs, like the um, design for the condenser that you want to have a look at, then just let me know, and or want me to come up with do in more detail. Just let me know, and we'll go through it in more detail. I mean, look at that. This, these stone drawers have more space than a single storage chest. Now, admittedly, they take up more space than a storage chest, but they have more space in them as well. And I'm going to have to do a, a whole sort of sorting, a whole day of sorting off screen, just because of the, the sheer amount of crap I have in some of these chests and things. Just the sheer amount of rubbish that exists in my, in my storage system. <laughs> Oh, uh, I can't wait until I get access to something like a storage sorter. Just having to manually sort everything is, is a pain in the backside. I also need to make tons of void upgrades. Um, tons and tons of void upgrades. Because, well, I, I, I don't have all the void upgrades I need. Like, I need to void upgrade my entire system down there. I also need to set up the kitchen and the farms and things. The kitchen is really easy to make, so we'll probably do that um, sort of on camera quite quickly. Actually, I tell you what, I'll put the food in the second page of this one, because the pages are held separately. So, I'll put the food in the second page and all the organic stuff in the second page. Because I have a lot of gems in the storage chest downstairs, in the um, mega chest downstairs. I also have like four stacks of golden apples downstairs. <laughs> uh, loot bag opening has been remarkably profitable. Uh, I've gotten stacks of obsidian, stacks of um, golden apples, stacks and stacks of mana steel. I've even managed to get almost a stack of diamond out of it, so there we go. And if we put one of these in here, we can break this and take this downstairs. I do love the, the hover. Like, I basically got free flight from that, which I'm not complaining about in the slightest. I am not going to complain about free flight. So this is kind of the storage having started being sorted. Um, I 
and we can head down and, and I'll continue sorting storage off camera. Well, I've done it off camera anyway, but I'll continue doing more storage sorting off camera. But that's gotten the basics done. Uh, one thing I do want to do with my storage sorting is I do want to basically take all of the gems in here. So you can see we've got Iconolite, Pearl, Appetite, things like that. I've got all those gems here, um, including 64 pizzas, which are not gems, but still. I want to move them over into the other chest, which we'll be able to do later. I've got stacks of buckets. It's like... Opening loot chests is ridiculous, and I did have to do some sorting in here. Basically, I've thrown away four inventories worth of these. These buried treasure maps just kept getting, just kept turning up, and I've just thrown them away and thrown them away and thrown them away. So one thing I want to do is I want to grab some gold and some silver. I want to start making some electrum. So I did make some silver in here. Um, let's do, like, what, 16 silver ore? And you are pouring out the iron. I want you to smelt up silver ore, and then I want you to get some gold, and I want to melt up some gold, because I want some electrum. I want to get together a nice big pile of electrum. And the reason I want electrum is, at the moment, my um, combustion chamber is working off coal. But if I upgrade it to an electrum combustion chamber... So if we look up combust... So if we upgrade to an electrum, it'll run off RF. Um, and I can power RF from my oil generators. So I don't need to worry about um, running out. So hopefully that iron will last long enough for the gold to melt. And then we can throw the... Because we've got two, two blocks and six of silver. That's actually quite impressive. And this should make electrum. Electrum. There we go. So Electrum is slowly transforming. We've still got two blocks and two ingots of silver, but that will slowly convert. And that should actually be the right amount. Now the other advantage with this system is that if I come into here, I can actually pull from both sides of the chest. And there is some stuff in here we don't need. We don't need those, we don't need those, that, that, that. Uh, these seared furnace controller we do need because we do want to make a seared furnace at some point. Excellent. So all of this stuff can go into here. Into my junk chest that's going to have to become a mu much bigger than an iron chest at some point because, yeah, that's going to have to get bigger. But what I want to work on now is I want to look at uh, some of the quests that we have been... Um, abandoning or some of the quests that we haven't been looking at. So we've got a Master Chef and we've got Some True Magic. The first quest in Some True Magic are just to collect all the gems, um, which should be complete because of my. Um, okay, so we need Jade, Carispancy, Fluorite, Rose Quartz, and Tektite. Now, the gems we get from here are completely random, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to again cut and I'm going to move all of these gems into this storage chest next to it, and I can almost guarantee we're going to pick up the gems we need from here. So, I will see you guys in a minute. So yeah, we've got uh, quite a few gems. <laughs> quite a few gems indeed. So that should be the first three quests in this complete reasonably quickly and easily. One two, and three. And that's the start of Silent Gems. Now, the reason I wanted to get into Silent Gems was because Silent Gems was a source of flight. Um, but now that I've gotten flight from... Now that I've gotten flight from my uh, Mega Loots, it's like, okay. I actually saw someone on the Mega Loots, web on the Mega Loots website complaining about um, the hover effect. But look at this. Like, this thing not only is giving me five armor and uh, sorry, twelve armor and five toughness. That is a ridiculously overpowered amount of armor. Twelve armor and five toughness. But on top of that, it's also giving me like free flight. That that is essentially free type flight, and it also has three more upgrade slots, so I can actually give it additional upgrades if I uh, go into the mega loots. If I go into the mega loots um, system and do some more like, mega looting, um, I think I do need to get something to make shards before I can do that. But that doesn't matter. So we need Chaos Essence. I'm pretty sure we've got Chaos Essence in here. We've only got four of it, but that's fine. And then we need to make Enriched Chaos Essence, which we should be able to do 
pretty easily. So we need glowstone and redstone. Glowstone and redstone. There we go. There is an enriched, enriched chaos essence. Bazaar. Lime green glowing panels. Now we don't have any more chaos essence, and unfortunately we can't get chaos essence from loot bags. So the thing that's going to limit us here is chaos essence. The only way to get chaos essence, or at least the only way I have right now of getting chaos essence, is by washing it from dirty chaos essence, which is from grinding up compressed stone. So what I'm probably going to end up doing is getting some stone on to cook over here because it's free. And what I'm also probably going to end up doing is building a seared furnace. Because we have a seared furnace controller and that will allow me to cook up um, stone very, very quickly. Very quickly indeed. So seared furnace controller, we've got some seared brick. I'll just make some more seared bricks. And then we'll make some tanks. And once you have the automated system set up, it's actually really, really simple to start doing things. Now this is actually going to be where we're going to set it up because we don't need our... Um, once we've set this up, we won't need the thing in the background anymore. So, and this is also going to be mainly for cooking stone. And I missed twice. Let's try the multi... Whoa! Okay, the multi-tool is amazing. Now, I have made this in a slightly different design than you need to, but uh, basically what I could do with the design if I wanted to is I didn't. I don't need these tanks, I just need one tank. Uh, I can also break these around the bottom if I want to and it will still function perfectly fine. But if we do that and we break these ones at the back, this is the the shape of one and you can increase it upwards horizontally you can make it different shapes but the reason I did this is yeah this will allow us to cook up stone a little bit insanely quickly so let's grab a bucket and pop it in here and it cooks up stone very 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 cheaply very cheaply indeed can't believe I have flight So let's just grab, what, a little over a thousand stone and go like this. There we go. And we can increase the size of this thing pretty much exponentially, but all of that stone's going to cook at once and it's all going to finish all 16. Probably use a third of a bucket of lava between it. So there we go. We've got some stone going. So we can get some Chaos Essence later on. And once we get Chaos Essence up and running, we'll be able to make everything we need. Uh, ectoplasm can be attained by killing small spirits that occasionally spawn after killing a mob uh, with potions and other magical items. So we're not going to do that at the end. We need to build a... Um, we need to build a uh, mob farm where we can gather spirits. So the next thing we want to do is we want to work on... Um, first off, making energizers and things like that. But also our Master Chef kitchen. So for Master Chef kitchens, we need quite a bit of dirt. Luckily, we have a dirt rod and a mana band. And that uses up so little mana, it's amazing. Um, and then we need our water. And if we use our multi-tool, it's... Wow! 
<laughs> the multi-tool is maybe dangerously fast while holding Vein Miner. I have a feeling I probably shouldn't hold Vein Miner while mining with the multi-tool. Because <laughs> uh, that's a little bit uh, dangerous. And we have clay blocks in here somewhere because it's pinched my clay blocks. So this is almost done. Let's have a look how this one's getting on. So you can see that this one's added maybe a stack and a bit of stone over here. It's slow, but it's it's slow, but it's steady. Whereas this one, it will tick over in a couple of seconds. Come on, tick over. And we've used up a little over a third of a bucket of lava. And then we can just empty out all the stone that's accrued inside it. And we've got 720 stone. So that's not bad at all. We're just going to spread this out. And you'll see that when we spread this out, because it's one block deep, it's going to cook really quickly. Except this bit, because this bit is not one block deep. So that's used up, even just even though I kind of screwed up the spreading it out. It doesn't have an auto-spread feature, which is a bit of a pain in the ass. But even though I screwed up spreading it out, we used up probably a 50 millibuckets of lava to do that. So that's not too bad at all. And now we have a nice big pile of terracotta. Put the stone away for now. So let's have a look at cooking for blockheads. So cooking for blockheads, we want a cooking book, which means we want to cook up a book. Would you believe? One, two, three. One. Two of those and some wood. So we'll make a few of the blank patterns and that will allow us to make a book And then we can cook the book up. Yeah, the sound is a bit weird, the sound from the um, hovering, but at the same time, it's it's free hovering. So I'm not going to complain. And this sword with 27 damage but, and 42 DPS. 27 damage and 42 DPS. It's just... Oh, do we have to cook it again? Is that the one we have? That's the one we have. Ah, I see. The other one is one you get from loot. So let's make a couple of crafting benches and... Ta-da! Cooking for blockheads. Now we can expand into a cooking table. Uh, the oven requires us to have black glass, which needs ink. Now I should have squid ink somewhere. I have squid beaks. That'll do. If I break down the squid beak, I can get squid ink. And then we can make black glass. That'll last make a cooker. And we can make the fridge really easily. Iron's not expensive. In fact, we're probably going to make some extra fridges. One, two. Because you can have as many fridges as you want. And the fridges are pretty decent storage. Uh, the sink requires a bucket of water, which... We can do really easily because we have water. There's our sink. We're also going to make a couple of kitchen cupboards, which again require some chests, but not a problem. We'll make some kitchen cupboards. Uh, I want to make a corner counter. And... don't really like the spice racks. The spice racks aren't really my thing. We'll make a couple of tool racks. We can't make milk in a jar or cow in a jar yet because we don't have cows. So we can't do that yet. Um, if we use quartz, and like quartz is expensive, so we're not going to do that. But I now I'm going to set my kitchen up over here. So we're going to go one, two, and one, two. And that actually does the doors in two different directions. And probably one, two. So we've got a nice big fridge. 
We're going to lay down the counter. We're going to lay down the auto cook. We're going to lay down the oven. We're then going to have probably a counter and a corner. And then a sink and two more counters. Like so. Now we do need a place to put the tool racks and what I'm probably going to do is put down just some terracotta here. Now what I can do is I can colour things. So if I just show you with the black I can actually colour stuff. Um, so we're actually going to have a look and see what we can get colour wise. I could lapis, I could do a dark blue. Should we have a look what lapis looks like? Let's have a look what lapis looks like for our kitchen. I like actually having the two blue and the black freezer. That looks very purple. My partner would approve. There we go. So we have a nice little blue kitchen which we can start stocking up with food later on. And that's pretty, pretty easy. But we also have some other quests to do from there. Actually, I kind of did those quests out of, out of order, didn't I? Because that quest is over here. Whoops. So these quests over here, we need to make a market. That shouldn't take long. I need red wool, or just wool in general, I think. There we go. One market. There's a the market. And we need to make all the different utensils. So if we look up at Pam's Harvest Craft. At Pam's. And we go through to where we can see all of the utensils, which is here. These are going to be, like, ridiculously easy to make. I think I have absolutely everything I need from just... Just having all of the stuff in the chest. And this is why having a crafting bench next to a chest is just very, very convenient for me. I just find it convenient enough that it's worthwhile. Oh, we don't have wooden planks. Wood? We have wood. There we go. There's some wooden planks. And a mixing bowl. And a juicer. For which we need to make... A pressure plate. There we go. That's all the tools complete and we can go and put them in our kitchen. And the kitchen is made... That's not how you put tools up there. The kitchen has the mortar and pestle and the mixing bowl, the chopping board and the juicer up on racks. And then everything else goes in the kitchen. So... And pop all these things down on our cooker and it will auto cook using those so that's not too difficult we then need all the basic ingredients which is, means we're going to have to get hold of cows um, presser and grinder also not a problem floating's a little bit weird so we've got grinder requires one of these and some redstone. I'm actually just going to take a stack of redstone out of my redstone box and put it in here. That will make things a little bit easier. And the grinder basically doubles up a lot of foods. A lot of foods you make can be doubled up by the grinder. We're talking about things like uh, flour, making flour from things, making soybeans. Uh, where's the press? And we can put together a presser. That's another one complete. I love the flight. The, the fact that I got flight from that um, boot bag opening has made an insanely good difference. Let's just pop a torch up here and a torch up here. Light our kitchen. 
We also need to get an apiary together and we need to get queen bee. I'm not sure where I'm going to get a queen bee from. Where do I get one of you from? I can buy one from the market. Okay, that's no problem. So we need an apiary. Which means we need item frames, which we have. Ta-da! Did I throw them on the floor? I threw them on the floor. Silly droid. And we need more wood. Which again, easy enough to do considering... That actually looks pretty good, to be fair. No, no. Open it. And there we go. And if we pop the market down... Let's pop the market down just over there for now. We should have a whole big pile of that box in here somewhere. That's lots of emeraldic. I'm just looking for plain emeralds. I'm sure I had emeralds in there. Ah, I must have moved my emeralds out into here because I've got 21 emeralds. That's pretty good. And a queen bee. Uh, where'd the rest of my emeralds go? Where'd the rest of my emeralds go? Okay, so apparently that's just destroyed all the emeralds I had. Yay! That's not annoying at all. That's not annoying in the slightest. So that'll get us the honey that we need to complete that quest. So that quest is cooking away. Um, we need to get a B to complete this quest. And for this one, we actually need cooking for blockheads the black one. How do we get the black one? We just have to craft a green one. Okay. Let's grab a string and one, two, three, paper. And we'll make ourselves another one and we'll just make that nice and quick. craft you up. I mean, I've overstacked the armor, which is great. Let's just throw you lot in here. And that allows us to complete that one. So yeah, we've got a kitchen up and running. Stocking it with food in between episodes will mean that I can actually start doing some cooking. Don't really care about diamond ones, to be fair. Rainbow runes, crap. And a common mega loot chest. As you know, common loot chests are great. Common loot in mega loots is nowhere near as powerful as the higher level or the better loots. So, yeah, I don't really see the point in common loot. But, we have cake, so yay cake. And now we can actually just go through these quests by, should be able to go through these quests just by clicking detect, because I've already crafted all of them, already done all of these. I haven't made a spice rack, but that's fine. We haven't made a toaster either. So let's do spice rack. And toaster. Which does need us to make a couple of items. We need one of these. We haven't got any buttons on us. And we need a bucket of lava. And there we go. There's a toaster. Cook things faster. <laughs> so we can put our toaster down. As everyone always does in the corner. That's where toasters belong. Spice rack can go around there. That's fine. Spices can go up there. And claim 
flame, and final one needs a cow in a jar, which we can't do until we get cows. So we're going to have to expand our we're going to have to expand our system until we've got to expand our grass platform until we've got enough grass to spawn cows. So I haven't been getting much luck with that. End arrows, opinion cores, and dried bricks. But I think that will probably sort that out. Um, I need some more chaos before I can compress, before I can, um, not compress, before I can progress down smart gems. What exploded? Something exploded and I'm mildly concerned. Because that sort of explosion usually damages terrain. My mob farm is intact, yes. I'm just going to double check to make sure my mob farm is intact. I have no idea where that explosion came from. But yes, my mob farm does appear to be intact. Everything appears to be intact. Okay. That's fine. So, what I will do is I will uh, do a little bit more sorting. I'll move my food upstairs. I'll do everything that needs doing. And I'll come back and see you in the next episode. Thank you everyone for watching. I've been the Gaming Droid. This has been Modern Skyblock 3. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye!